Yo guys, what's up? This is Dan, also known as Blender Choxy, and I'm doing a tutorial today explaining what ambient occlusion is and how you can do it. This is going to be a really crucial part of the tutorial for the FPS that we're making, as uh, it's what I'm going to personally use uh, to texture a gun. So, basically, what ambient occlusion is, here's a perfect example on a recent gun that I made a couple of weeks ago, and basically what it is just imagine it's just a grey texture over the entire gun and it darkens the texture where light would be less likely hitting the model. So if I was to just show you the model here, there you go, and I'm switching between textured mode and solid mode using Alt and Z, or Z, depends on uh, whether or not you're American or British, which I keep saying all the time, but yeah, here's the solid and then textured. As you can see, there's a brilliant dis uh, difference in terms of getting all of your detail right in there. So we're going to do this to the P90 that we made uh, in our FPS tutorial. And then for the next texturing part of our tutorial, I'm going to be using the ambient occlusion. But I'm also going to show you how to rip a texture straight from the gun. It's uh, the reference picture you used, if one was used, and things like that. So let's just get started straight away. So as you can see I have my P90 here and I'm just going to quickly see this line here, these, these, uh, where the is separated between the animations editor or the actions editor and the 3D view. Well, as you can see if I hover my mouse over there, there's two arrows, one pointing up, one pointing down. I'm going to right click on that and click split area and as you can see there's a line here and if I put my mouse down here there's a line at the bottom. So I'm just going to put it up here and split the screen more or less two-thirds of the way to the right because I want to see the 3D view more than I want to see the UV image editor, uh, which is what we do next. You go to UV image editor, so it's like that. It should look like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 3D view and press A. If, ev if there are things selected, just press A to deselect everything and then just press A again to reselect it. And um, what I'm going to say next is please make sure one of the objects that you use to model your gun is in fact got a brighter orange outline than the rest. Because if it doesn't, um, then it won't join all the pieces together, which is what we want. You have to have a selected mesh in order to join pieces together. So, Because technically you're not joining anything together, you've just selected pieces. Which doesn't really make sense, but what the hell. So yeah so if there's not a bright orange outline just simply shift and right click on the object that you want to select and it'll it'll do it for you so what we're gonna do then is press control and J to join as you can see everything changed there because it's all one mesh therefore it's using the same material which is why uh, different shades of gray are no longer present so that's why that does that but what what we're gonna do for the P90 tutorial is I'm gonna say just join the clip like that then join the main body like that but we're not gonna do that just for the sake of time so if I just select everything and press control and J press tab by going into edit mode and as you can see I still have vertices selected so we're gonna press A to deselect everything and then we're gonna reselect everything again by going into by selecting everything I'm gonna quickly switch to the textured tab and then I'm gonna click U for unwrap and then go to smart UV project and click OK now as you can see it's nicely unwrapped there should be no seams because it does all that for you which is brilliant uh, in terms of texturing but if you want to learn how to uh, do unwraps yourself I'll try and learn that a bit better because I know how to do it but I wouldn't say I'm a pro at it so I'll make a tutorial on that um, there will be a separate tutorial so if there are vertices going outside of the thing so if I was to go to face select mode here and press L on something as you can see it's selected whatever's there if I do that so on so on as you can see and if say there's like a piece out here and uh, you don't want it there let me just press control and Z you simply press U smart UV project and you select you select the oh hang on something's happened you select the island margin to be 1 or 0 0.6 or whatever you want it to be it honestly doesn't matter as long as it's uh, as long as it's high enough and basically what that does it creates a space between each thing and sizes them down so that it's less likely to go outside of the margin and the reason we don't want it to go outside of this area is because we need to create a new texture and go to untitled okay you can name it whatever you want I'll name it p90 underscore AO there we go and click OK 
So as you can see, it's all gone black. And it's going to bake a texture inside this black area. So if it's outside, technically it's just going to loop whatever's outside on the opposite side to where it is. So it'll be really ugly and it won't work. So you don't want to do that. But then, of course, the next step is to go to render here. Which, uh, if you're not using Blender 2.59, then it's obviously it's not going to be there. If you try and uh, open a project from 2.4, or earlier than 2.5 then you're not gonna have this here I'm not quite sure on how to get it up but you should be able to find it in this list of things I believe it is called hmm properties you just simply go to properties like where it say where it would say 3d view you go to properties and it's there so now we're gonna scroll down in the render menu and we're gonna go to bake at the very bottom here we're gonna select full render and go to ambient occlusion and the margin we're gonna set that to say 10 and what 10 does uh, the higher it is the it creates sort of like say you have your shape uh, let me pick a good shape here say you, here's your shape um, if the margin was what it was default the texture it would be black and then where there's a vertices selected it would just be ambient occlusion inside on the exact line of that and by setting the margin to 10 it goes slightly outside of that so that there's no black lines on your model creating seams now I'm probably just said that there'll still be black seams but that's because the margins only 10 so that's only if that happens but we're gonna simply kick, click bake and as you can see it's doing its magic and as you can see the model is now nicely done and I hope you guys enjoyed this really short tutorial. If you guys need me to explain everything, then feel free to post a comment, uh, show all your mates who are learning Blender or whatever my tutorials, uh, if you find them helpful that is. Sorry I've remade this because I've already done texturing tutorials but they're Blender 2.49 so I felt that you all should get a little update on how to do it with the new UI and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial or this uh, 7 minute tutorial that's a lot longer than I expected. All of my tutorials are longer than I expect, but yeah. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, thumbs up, fave. I've already said this millions of times, but okay. Thank you. Goodbye.